like that. Uh, one of the greatest fighters in the history of the sport. I understand what you're saying. He had a chance, but I also understand his point of view that, you know, he was working. I don't think ESPN would have been happy if he would have hit you, but uh, he did say on the show today, which you may have heard, uh, he has actually formally challenged you to a fight. What do you make of this challenge now? It's a mixed martial arts fight because he says, if you want to go, course. let's go. Of course. Well, no, of course. And, I, and I respect you def defending your boy. And I don't mean an embarrassment as a fighter. I, he's a Hall of Famer. I respect him as a fighter. What he's done for the sport is amazing. He's a great wrestler. He's a great striker. I've watched him multiple times. I don't mean an embarrassment that way. I mean an embarrassment like if you are going to say you're going to slap another man, you're going to threaten someone and say you're going to slap them when you see them. And then when you don't do that, that's embarrassing. He as a person isn't an embarrassment, but that's embarrassing. But of course, he's going to challenge me to a, a MMA fight. Of course, you know, but I find it funny because he's challenging me to something that I've never trained in. And he's trained boxing and striking and stand up and have, has been in there with Stipe, John Jones. He, I mean, he lost those fights, but like he's been in there with the best of the best striking. So why, why not box? Oh, you want to, you want to you know, go against me in something that I've never trained in before? Of course, that's like me finding someone off the streets, literally who has never boxed a day in their lives and being like, all right, come in here. I'm going to challenge him. What's the difference between that and you fighting Nate Robinson? The difference is, is that Nate Robinson claimed that he boxed for two years and hit pads and trained boxing the whole time he was in the NBA to, to be on the mitts. And he called me out and said that he was going to beat me and was super confident. And he, everyone, I'm saying he did train. I mean, he had no experience. I know you only had one pro fight at that point. And obviously your experience isn't his experience. What he said today on the show was, look, if you want to put my name in your mouth, if you want to talk, if you want to call me names, fat boy, these things, let's fight, you know, no, you know, no limited skill set. Let's fight pretty much no holds barred what MMA used to be. And uh, I'll teach you a lesson is basically his stance. Of course, like he, of course, he's going to, he's going to duck the boxing offer. And by the way, there's way more money in boxing. So we would make more money in a boxing match. Uh, and again, I'm a boxer. I, I, I never said that I will beat Daniel Cormier in an MMA fight. If he comes and boxes me, I will beat him. And maybe a part of him knows that. So like, if, <laughs> which is why it's funny. Like, why would he not accept that offer? That if we fought, that would be the most amount of money that he will ever make in any of his fights by far. What do you so, think he would make for a fight like this? Like if, if, if you were to guess, what do you think this generates? I think Jake Paul versus Daniel Cormier does upwards of 2 million pay-per-view buys, Pro probably right around two. So the official stance is not interested in the MMA fight. Correct. Correct. And he might not be interested in the boxing fight, but like, again, that's the biggest payday of, of his life. You versus DC in an MMA fight. I think it would be big business. You know, I think you should consider it. I, I think he should consider Like, I don't need the money. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I'm good over here. So uh, I think you guys would actually get along in, uh, in a, you know, you're, you, you both get it. Um, I told him, by the way, he's working himself into a shoot. I don't know if you know it. Like, that's, you know, they say, he, he, you know, you know what a work is, right? When you know what do you mean like a work in, in this is pro wrestling terminology but a work is when it's like scripted right a work ah, and yeah, a shoot yeah. is when it's for real so yeah, he's yeah. working himself into a shoot he's he's getting worked up and now he's turning this into real and i'm like you should not be doing this you you are exactly doing what jake paul wants you to do i have told him this publicly and privately and i asked him on saturday i said do you want to fight this guy he said no i said well then why did you do that because all that did was elevate all of this. And yeah. so then he comes on the show today and said he wants to fight you in an MMA fight. Interesting idea. I get where he's coming from. Um, but it appears as though the, uh, the request has been denied. Look, man, let's box DC. <laughs> Come on. Like, if you're a striker, too. Jump in the ring. Make a, make a payday. And I, I don't know, though. I, I don't think he wants to lose his legacy like that. 
at the end of the day, like what I've done so far is I'm collecting people's legacies. Nate Robinson snatched his legacy. Ben Askren snatched his legacy. Daniel Cormier probably doesn't want that. All right. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Jake, thank you. Appreciate the time. Thank and, you. Bro. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yep. Let's do it.